Hello, let's look at the slow sums question in the greedy algorithms section. So if you don't know what a greedy algorithm is, feel free to look at the Wikipedia page, for example. Basically, it allows you to solve complex problems by doing the locally optimal thing at each step. Right? So uh, we'll, we'll see an example of this here in this question. So here, let's just briefly look at the description. So we're given a list of n numbers and repeated an operation until we're left with only a single number. So we choose any two numbers in the list and replace them with their sum. And so it says we associate a penalty with each operation equal to the value of the new number and call the penalty for the entire list uh, the sum of the penalties of each operation. So that sounds a bit confusing, but let me, let me show you what they mean here. Let's look at the example. So we're given a list like 4, 2, 1, 3 and they want you to output 26. Okay, how do you get 26? Um, so you pick two, two integers here and you sum them. So four plus three is seven. And then, so you replace those two with just a seven. So then you end up with the seven and the two and the one that were there at the beginning, right? And then you add up to seven and two, which gives you nine. So then the list becomes nine and one. And those two summed give you 10. And the final output is going to be 26, which is 10 plus 9 plus 7. All right, so the problem here is to, uh, the goal is to find the highest possible penalty for a given input. So to maximize the total sum of everything, right? So the greedy approach here is at every step, you pick the largest two uh, integers in your list and you sum them, right? And if you, four plus three is gonna be seven, right? And then seven, of course, is gonna be the largest, and then you gotta pick the second largest and add those together to give you nine and so on. So that's the basic idea. And the final output is this integer here. So how do we approach uh, this problem? So we're gonna always want to find the, the largest or next largest I, uh, integer in the list. So let's start by sorting the list. So I'm going to do that with the sort method. And I think I want these to be sorted in descending order. So in order to do that, I'll just give it a key here. So key equals lambda, lambda x minus x, right? So at this point, we'll have, for our example, it's going to be 4 three, uh, yeah, four, three, two, one, right? And then how do we get these numbers seven, nine, and 10? Well, what we could do is do a cumulative sum. So if we do a cumulative sum on this list, what do we get? Well, we get four, and then four plus three is seven, and then you add two to that, which is nine, and you add one to that, which is 10. So that gives us our numbers seven, nine, and 10. So all we have to do is a cumulative sum here, which we can do with the following loop, right in range. So we start with one, right? And then the length of the array. And then what do we do? Well, uh, we just add the previous value, right? Array i minus one. Okay, so at this point, we should have this list here. So the array, we transformed it to be this. And then we, all we have to do is return uh, the sum of the elements, uh, all the, the sum of all the elements except for the first one. So this here, we remove the first one and we can sum things in this way. So that should give us the right solution. Let's, let's run it and see. And then in terms of complexity, um, well, sorting is going to be n log n in, in terms of time complexity. Yeah, so it passed the test cases here. So sorting is going to be n log n, and here we're just doing one pass over the array, which is O of n. And I mean, you could, uh, you could, yeah, this is this isn't too bad either here. So um, overall, the the runtime complexity is n log n because of the sorting here. And in terms of memory, it should be constant. I think, I guess this maybe creates a separate array, uh, but you could certainly sum things without creating a new array. 
Um, so, yeah, I think this is the best solution that I could come up with for this problem. Uh, let me know if you have a different solution. Obviously, there are other ways of solving the problem, but I think this does it in just a few lines. And uh, and if you just did it in brute with a brute force approach, I think it would be O of n squared. Uh, but if you sort it first, uh, that gives you the, the n log n solution. All right, thank you for watching.